Okay, welcome back everybody. Today, I'm gonna show you, we moved the pigs again. This is their old pen. You can kind of see it. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty much done and stuff. So, we moved them out of it. It's all rotted tilled up and stuff. Uh, it has some holes in it, so I have to fill those in. I gotta push the dip back over top, but we moved them into this area, if you can see that. Let me. Uh, we moved them. Out of sh I'm gonna show you their pen. The gate. I was just. It ain't the nicest fence, but it's gonna do for the pigs. Here's the gate. It connects up to the corner post right there. You can see that. Uh, and the gates right here at the end, and then they got that whole run right there. And then, um, uh, this is going to be the reason why we put them along this garden fence. Let me see if I can get you a, a view up here. Is because this is going to be a potato patch. Uh, we're going to put potatoes here, so we want them to just try to root up most of the weeds in here and stuff. Well, there ain't that much weeds because there's metal on top of it, but we want them to root it up and get it mostly gone, just root it up and stuff. And then we're going to move them to a different paddock. I think they're in that paddock for like two weeks, almost maybe. Now they just got into this paddock. I'm going to show you how to build their shelter. Uh, all you do is you just find some pallets. They don't have to be the same size. I mean, this one has to be long. I mean, you can find a long one, then you have to have a tall one. And then you have to have a back. And this one's the back right there. They, they can, the side walls have to be kind of small gapped. So they have to be, they can't be really huge gap gaps in them because this is what's going to insulate them from the wind these are two these are the walls so the wind blows and hits them and then does it affect them so yeah but then that one has to be taller because this piece of wood right here is going to go on top for a roof that just uh, has to be taller to shed water so I'm going to set you up somewhere I got a uh, camera stand with me so I can set you up somewhere. Sorry about the rocky footage. <sighs> Gotta climb over the fence now. But the jeez, those pigs like to see their friends closer to them because they used to be in that pen, and I was far away from these two boys. So then these two boys are trying to fight with him. But there's a fence in the way so they can't really fight. Anyway, as you can see, this is a dirt patch. And this is where uh, metal used to be. Tin. Roofing tin. Anyway, they already are spreading some dung. Some pig poop around. You can see it. It's right there. And stuff. So this is going to be the potato patch. I don't know if it's going to be this wide. That uh, that one thing that blocks that area down there is uh, 10 feet long. It's 10 feet long down there, so this is a 10 foot long run, and then that's a 6 foot gate. So it narrows down to a 6 foot gate. So, yeah, it's pretty big. But I don't know if the potatoes are going to be this big. I think the potatoes are going to be like four feet out because they're going to be in tires and I tried to clear most of this junk out and stuff so I'm going to try clearing that top out real quick because it's bothering me that it's right there and also it's in the pig pen and the pigs won't like that very much so I'm going to set you up over here. And I'll point you down that way. You guys are probably going to fall. Ugh, can't get a good 
thing. I'm gonna have to shut you off for a minute to get my GoPro, I mean my camera stand set up. Okay, I'm back now. I just had to get the camera in position. Okay. I'm trying to keep the camera in position now. Keeps on moving. Anyway, I'm gonna get this top out first. Tuck it over. Then we're gonna build this. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera in position. You might hear some loud noises in the back of pigs squealing. Cause uh the boar and her fighting. She he doesn't like her near his area. Anyway, get you set up so you guys can see the pen, my me building it. All I'm using is t a T25 tip with a screw gun. Anyway, it's a pretty easy build. You just need, I don't know how long this is, it, but anyway, I'm building it right next to this other pallet right here because I don't think this pallet would be strong enough for pigs. So I'm building it next to another thing so that it has a little more support. And I'm going to climb over the fence and try to get this, this panel over. I don't know if you guys can see this, but try to get this panel over anyway. I thought I got it over. Gotta make sure Sherlock doesn't run out. Sherlock, come here. Um, Sherlock, come here. He wants to chase his sister. Alright. Before I hear a little, you probably hear the noise too. So yeah, it's a little noisy. It's just trying to get these panels over the fence. Anyway, there's no bottom on this. It's just dirt. Dirt's just fine. I mean, you can, if you want to, you can put hay in on the bottom. But it's warm enough now. I don't really use hay. They just sleep on the ground, basically. And they dig a little hole and stuff. Anyway. Uh, this piece is going on this side over here. Uh, yep. Okay, I'm gonna be back in just. I'm gonna be back in just a moment. I just have to go get a uh, saw. So you watch the pigs. Make sure they don't do me. Alrighty. I'm back now. I got a uh, handsaw for cutting wood. Okay. Works pretty good. I like it. Gotta get this thing up. But first, I'll show you why I'm cutting this. If you can see, it's hitting on the fence, so it's holding that thing off the ground. So it needs to be fixed, so I'm gonna cut it. Cutting it should make it 
from the bottom. I'll let you guys see a little a little better. See the reason why this saw isn't working right now is because I showed you that this thing's on a fence and this thing wants to go down. So that's making Okay, so we'll, I'm going to screw this. I'm going to see if I can get this all screwed together. And hopefully it's strong because pigs do push on it a lot. A lot more than you think they push on stuff. Oops, looks like you guys fell. I'm going to move you over here because I'm walking inside the pig shelter. I, you guys are going to have to be careful because... Pigs are gonna probably knock you guys down. I'm gonna try to protect you from these pigs. <laughs> Let's watch a pig fight instead. I don't know if that's cooler, but probably is. Pigs fight a lot. You can watch those things. I'm just gonna do some. We're gonna move you over to here now, cause we're pitting on the roof. You're gonna see how the roof goes on. It's a very simple build. Very, does it take very long to build? I think this took me, well this is taking me a long time for other reasons than just putting it all together. I had to get everything over here and Hey, you guys stop sniffing my coat. Can you hear me? Ugh. Good thing he's not in his foamy mood. Because that foam got on my coat. That stuff smell. That stuff does not smell that good. Anyway. This is how it comes together. Simple. Simple enough, I think. I think I, yeah. Comes together. It's waterproof. Even so, this board has a big. A big hole, a big crack in the middle right here. It's pretty much waterproof. Anyway, just put some screws in, in it. I'm putting one in the end. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna come over here now and show you guys over here. I'm gonna screw it in right here. Okay. There, I don't know if you guys can see that good. It's pretty glary out. Sherlock, come here, boy. Sherlock, come here. I'm already gonna put two screws in here because there's already two places to screw. It, that is basically it for the pig shelter. I mean, it's super simple. 
Anyway, that's basically it. Uh huh. Yep. You guys, this pig shelter's done. Especially since it's sunny today, I'm gonna kind of show you the sun. Woo, looks kind of good. Sun looks. Sun is nice because we haven't had sunny days in forever. So I'm glad we finally got a sunny day. You can kind of see the sun right there. Probably gonna blind you guys when you watch this video. Anyway, here's the pig shelter. It's somewhat shady. It has sun, what comes in right there. So it's not that shady from the sun, but it's meant to protect them from weather, like snow, wind. That's why the opening where they come into is pointing, uh, it's pointing that way. That, that way, if you can, guys can see that. It's pointing that way. Anyway, it's pointing that way. And then there's two walls on that side and that side. This side is bigger because usually most of all wind comes from the west. So it hits this wall and this wall is more long out and this wall is more short. It's more short because the wind doesn't really come from there. Only time wind comes from this side is when is when we having like a storm, like a storm's coming then the wind will come that come this way but other than that not much i mean you can see there's some snow they would dig this up i bet you this area since the snow is melting and this is going to be muddy they'll probably be in here for maybe two i want to leave them in here because it's we can't leave them in there that long this long because we do have to uh plant vegetables and this is going to be potatoes so potatoes have to go in here it's almost gardening season so we got to move these potato we got to we're going to put potatoes in here. We are starting plants and stuff. And that area, wait, they they just rotated. I'll go show you that before the camera has no more storage. Hi, you used, I was wearing this this morning, but now I'm not. Anyway, this is going to be for like peppers right here. It's going to be for peppers and tomatoes and right at the end is going to be for cabbages. So they did a good job of rooting it up and yeah. Well, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video.